Uh, hi, my name is Professor Dr. Somshekar. I am a chairman and head of department, Manipal Comprehensive Cancer Center, Manipal Group of Hospital and MHCPL, and the Robotic Surgery Director and Head for Manipal Groups. A warm welcome and wishes to all of you. We all know that you know human race was hit with unprecedented pandemic. Nobody was ready for this. No one knew what it is. Life got disrupted. We learned to live new normal. Human being, you know, always Darwin says that the race which survives is not the race which is most dominant. Not somebody powerful, like a macho guy, very rich guy, I live. No, they are not the guy. They perish. Weak perish, very high end perish. A species and a living being which adapts is the one which survives. That's how if you look back from dinosaurs thousand years till today to reptiles to human being, what is the race which survived? Who can adapt? So now human race are adapted to this pandemic. You know what happened to the healthcare? This got affected most. One side COVID patients and we can't deny treatment for cancer patient eligible emergencies. What happened in pandemic? We can't keep patients in hospital for a long time. Early discharge. You cannot touch patient too much contact, open blood, vapors, everything. Too many people cannot come. Less high CU stay, less pain, good quality, send them back home. Try to do more remote, you know, consultation, video consultation. So, this is an opportunity where open surgery came down, lab came down, robotic flourished. If you see the COVID surge, multi-institutional study published from across the world, including our institution, several work we did. Ideal for pandemic was the robotic. All other surgeries came down, all other healthcare came down, patients got delayed treatment, but outburst of robotic surgery happened because ideal. You come home, minimum doctor to patient contact, minimum assistance with four arms of robot surgeon does sitting here, early recovery, Eat same day, walk two days, go home fast, less cuts, so no infection, less antibiotic, less this one. Rest all can be remotely managed. So, COVID pandemic, general life disrupted, all healthcare disrupted, all other surgery came to standstill, patients suffered, all problems like heart attack, cancers progressed, but the robotic surgery which was ideal for pandemic flourished. What we all did is we coupled ERAS protocol, enhanced recovery after surgery protocol with robotic. We were able to do out surge, there was a 200% increase in robotic surgery across the world, increase in India, including in India during this pandemic time. So people understood the benefit. Now, even though pandemic is in the last leg, like probably now, we are still learnt that ERAS and robotic can build up. So robot was a boom for cancer patient and emergency surgeries. Coupled with ERAS, we didn't compromise the outcome. And yet we could serve the humanity and people. And this lesson learnt is the new normal for us now. You see, uh, remember, uh, awareness among clinicians was the most important thing. When we started all robotic assisted surgery about one and a half decade back, we spent a lot of time to bring awareness among the physician itself. Many of them didn't even understand what does it entitle, what is the benefit. But now we have moved into an era where the public awareness is taking precedence over a clinician because all clinicians are aware by evidence-based experience internationally and nationally the benefit of the robotic assisted surgery. So the awareness a decade before was very poor. Now it is extremely opposite. Patients come demanding. So the awareness among public is now huge. Educative media, social media and then you know YouTube, Google patients read, other patient gives knowledge to other patient, clinician gives patient. So now we are in era where I have to put little effort to bring awareness among the public. Luckily, it is huge. Like last four to five years, I have not lost a single patient who is eligible for robotic because they were not educated, they were not aware. All I need to do is explain and they say, I am aware. So I am very happy we are now in an era where the public awareness because of various activity is very high and this is very happy news. So as a clinicians, we don't spend too much energy explaining what is robotic assisted and benefit. We can concentrate on delivering the healthcare, which is a happy news. Having said that, still a lot can be done among the clinicians, institution, patients, public, insurance people. And now the things are working towards it. And I would say that probably in coming few years, it would be equivalent to any other open surgery. You know now the limitation point. Here is a technique 
which is profoundly superior to laparoscopy and open, beneficial for patients, better clinical outcome, minimal access benefits, also clinician performs the best. You know the beauty of robotic surgery, assisted surgery is short learning curve, very low conversion rate, excellent standardization. A group of surgeons doing same surgery in any part of the world across various surgeons still can produce an equally good quality of result. Which means in spite of all these benefits, unfortunately there are some limitations where we are not able to apply to 100% eligible. Number one, availability of the machine. You know in a country like India still we need 10-15 times more availability. So first thing is the availability. Second thing is having trained adequate surgeons who are robotic proficient who has passed the learning curve. Number four, giving the training accessibility to all surgeons who can perform same way. Number five, however cost because a person is a fool in healthcare system if it does not keep in the cost. But I have to tell you, you know, having done so many surgery for 12 years, cost is in favor of robotic assisted surgery if you understand early discharge short hospital say less painkillers less antibiotic less complication less on icu stay so in spite of all this there are some limitation in the four ways i told all of them needs to be addressed as years come as public government partnership happens now more and more robots are seen in government organization eligible for even poor patient not just rich patients not just corporate these limitations are coming down, yet there is a lot of scope of improvement in these four categories of limitation to overcome as I told. Luckily, last five years what I found after Intuitive came to India directly is, the training program is very robust. Number one, before anybody is allowed to touch a robot and operate a patient, you may be a top surgeon, you may be a king, you may be whoever, you have to go through 60 to 70 hours of simulatory training. Don't experiment on the patient. Simulator. Beauty in into TV is a state of art. Simulator comes built in that. You can do that simulation. First you have to do that. The system will tell you are pass or fail. You will reach that by about couple of months. After that you do that. You do a dry lab. Phase 2. Phase 3 after you do dry lab. You go to a OT to a proficient trained center which is center of excellence like, like you know say ours Manipal and watch how a master does nothing like first hand watching it that is called as case observation phase 3 then you go to the animal lab where under ideal condition you do a animal lab training phase 4 things doesn't end there you are still not ready to operate then in your institution when you start a surgery the mentorship program comes a mentor is a guy who would have done thousands of case with good experience with excellent teaching skills with already proved track record of quality will come be there for you for first several case and mentor you in your institution before this mentoring the new thing that has come i'm very proud that which was available only in us first time brought to india over last some months is remote case observation so as an youngster take my word this is very fascinating field very challenging highly rewarding for you on patient very short learning curve highly standardized and you can do lot of benefit to your patient and please embrace this as an youngster please learn this and master it take this as a part of your treatment uh, thank you and best wishes to everybody